our worst fears were realized tonight. A tragic end in Merced, California. Four family members kidnapped from their trucking business were found dead Wednesday night, according to the Merced County Sheriff. There was a farm, not a farm worker, it was a, a fellow under contract to uh, clean an orchard, you know, this harvest time, and he was out there helping with the harvest and came across them. We believe full, fully that uh, our victims were deceased before we even got notified of the, the crime. The sheriff expressed his anger after the bodies were found. There's a special place in hell for this guy. I'm hoping our district attorney's office goes for the death penalty. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, and uh, I would like to be there when that happens. That's how pissed I am with this. This is completely and totally senseless. A whole family wiped out, and we still don't know why. This brutal discovery comes after authorities released surveillance footage of eight-month-old Aruhi Deri along with her parents, Jasleen Kaur and Jasdeep Singh, and her uncle, Amandeep Singh, kidnapped at gunpoint. In the video, an unidentified man is seen with a white trash bag crossing the parking lot Monday morning and following Jasdeep. He drops the trash bag and then pulls out what appears to be a firearm. Jasdeep and Amandeep are then seen with their hands tied behind their backs with zip ties, forced into a truck by the gunman. The gunman returns six minutes later and is seen taking Jasleen and baby Aruhi to the same truck. A suspect was apprehended on Tuesday after attempting to take his own life. Doctors had to initially sedate him given his condition. However, local authorities have started talking to the suspect and are trying to figure out a motive. An ATM card belonging to one of the victims was used in a neighboring town. Authorities there received information that the 48-year-old might be connected to the case. He is considered the sole suspect at this time and no charges have been filed, but the sheriff says others may have been involved. The sheriff says the suspect also has a criminal history. Well, I can tell you right now, in 2005, he was arrested for something very similar. He did uh, seven years in prison, was paroled in 2015, and then here we go again.